So good evening and uh, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Better Politics Awards, the first annual Better Politics Awards. My name is Pamela Scott Crace and I'm delighted to be your host this evening. I'm an active community volunteer and for a long time I edited magazines, magazines that covered politics and business and culture. It was Blue Monday this week, any Blue Monday sufferers in the crowd? I have a theory that awards season is, um, you know, it, it, it's come into existence because we need something to divert our attention away from the midwinter blues. So we like winners and losers and red carpets and whatnot. Or there's retail therapy. Um, a particular habit of mine, actually, is to buy magazines. I'm especially fond of those sort of year in review or trends that you need to understand better or big ideas that are going to change your life kind of thing. I'm a bit of a junkie for the zeitgeist comparative shopping. Anyway, my New Year's magazine rack, which was pretty diverse, um, definitely revealed a sense to me that the status quo as it relates to democracy is simply not acceptable. The troubled relationship between people and power is the focus of countless editorials and prediction articles that I read. For example, The Economist's World in 2015, um, I have a prop, this thing right here, the lead editorial actually starts like this. Of all the predictions to be made about 2015, none seems safer than the idea that across the great democracies, people will feel deeply let down by those who lead them. And knowing what I know about producing magazines, these kind of features, these interviews, these essays, they would have been conceived of and, and written weeks or even months before the recent events in Paris, which have galvanized the world's attention around free speech and, and spurred a global conversation about the fundamental pillars of democracy. So timing is everything. We need to be talking about civic engagement. We need to be talking and celebrating better politics when it's happening. And we need a fun award show. And that's why we're here. The Better Politics Awards has been a long-standing dream of Springtides. And for those of you who don't know Springtide, it's an organization dedicated to helping Nova Scotians bridge the gap between a current state of our democratic institutions and imagining ways of doing politics differently. Springtide is nonpartisan and nonprofit. And these awards wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the support of our sponsors and partners. TD Bank Group is one of our event's major sponsors, along with Deloitte and National Public Relations. And we're very appreciative of the in-kind sponsorship of St. Mary's University, which has donated the beautiful space that we're gathering in. And also Lost Cod Clothing and Brave Space, who I'll introduce shortly. Tonight, we're presenting awards to five members of the Legislative Assembly, as well as three public interest champions working in the media, the public service, and in our communities. But it goes without saying that even though we're handing out eight awards tonight, there are countless worthy individuals throughout this province who are doing work every day that promotes and strengthens democracy. And tonight's event is meant to honor and celebrate the collective values that drive people to do work that benefits the public good. And what we'd really love for these awards to be a springboard for a broader conversation about how each of us can embody the principles of democracy both inside and outside of our public institutions. 